students of the Canopolis Rural Technology High Schools Makerspace as part of our STEM Centre. My name is Matt Scott and I'm the head teacher of STEM here at Canopolis. I'd like to give you a tour now of our Makerspace and some of the resources and equipment that we have up here which makes STEM learning here at Canopolis uh, available to our students. Whether they're making projects like water filters or biodomes as part of our STEM projects and our curriculum here in Year 7 and 8, we use a lot of the spaces and resources up here to make this happen. Some of the things that we have include Artbox 3D printers for rapid prototyping, iSTEM ME program 3D viewers for enriching um, activities through virtual reality. We have our drone here as part of our science week activity this week for this year. Uh, looking at some of the new careers um, that are available as a result of STEM and emerging technologies. In iSTEM we study aeronautical engineering using air and water powered bottle rockets. This year we participated in the first robotics competition. Here's part of our robot here that we entered that with. Any good maker space needs equipment and resources for crafting and prototyping. Here's our maker trolley full of things like scissors, sticky tape, staples and glue. Also resources like paddle pop sticks, straws and pipe cleaners, ready to be rolled out into the maker space for groups making things. When we're working a little bit more seriously, we have equipment like scroll saws, pedestal drills, combination sanders, but also multi-tools and cordless drills so students can make things with their hands, working with more rigid materials like bolts and wood. Here's an example of one of our coding projects in Year 8 STEM. This is our own version of the Operation Board Game, originally made by Hasbro. Uh, this one uses code and the Makey Makey microcontroller, allowing us to teach about circuits and use the uh, connectivity of circuits to be able to produce sounds and uh, images on the screen when the circuit's completed when you try and rescue a bone from Homer's body. We've a range of tools here at Canobolus for your coding, including a class set of the Microbits computers from the, the UK, Arduino Explorer, looks like a gaming control pad, and students can code this to control games on the net. We've participated in Code Rider, where we send coding experiments into space. This year we're working with Starlab and Oblix Systems using their new Starlab unit. We've been using Raspberry Pi for a while, including the Sense Hat. And recently we've also acquired the Thinker Shield from Mars Museum, which rides the Arduino learning coding and uh, using sensors as part of our learning. In Science Week last year, we created our own room sweeping robot using the MakeBlock MBot robot. We've got a class set of Spiro robots for teaching coding, especially when working with our partner primary schools. Class of Lego, Lego EV3 robots for teaching robotics, mechatronics, and we do the F1 in school program as well. So we've got uh, CO2 powered cars here, students competing with their designs. Across the back, you'll also see our 3D printers. Hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of our makerspace, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed seeing what we've got here and what we can do. And by all means, if you'd like to know more, contact us here at Canopolis, and we'd be more than happy to to show you through what we do here. And before you log out, make sure you look up with your virtual 3D viewer. You'll see some of the bottle rockets that students have made hanging from the ceiling.